yeah, obviously we want to get everything resolved, but um, it's not affected anything. No. I wanted to ask about a couple of players I don't see out here today. Uh, Eduardo, Bobby Burling, and Andre Luiz. Yeah, um, three of three of um, the both all three are injured, but um, we're getting um, Eduardo looked at. He got a bit of a groin problem, so we're going to get that looked at today. Um, Andre Luis has a slight knee from last year. It's just getting through. It's just niggling a bit. We may get a scope, but we have to talk to Bruce about that. But we're just kind of resting him at the moment. But um, we may have to get a slight operation, like a small operation. He'll be back in probably three weeks. But that's you probably know, it's probably going to happen. Yeah. But we'll find out um, more today. And um, Bobby Burling, he's been resting. He's got problems in his two joints of his big toes. So he's just coming back from that. Um, uh, Andrew Luis, Andrew Luis is, uh, is back, no one failed the physical test, um, there is no big injury so far, no. uh, is it starting, it feels starting it, better? It feels year? better, yeah, I mean they're out, those two guys, it's like, oh, you know, which you don't, don't ever like anyone being out of training for any length of time, especially pre-season, but um, they've showed, you know, he's showed he's, he's very fit right now and, and looks good, so we just want to clear this knee up so it's not bothering him all year. He's kind of niggling and he's resting a few days and playing and everything's fine. He could play with it, but we feel it's a good, the right thing to do is get looked at and, and if it needs to be, you know, a small operation or a small little nick to, to take out the soreness, then we'll do that. Are there things that you are doing differently this year after uh, the problems you had in the beginning of last season? Um, well, I think, you know, the, the results that we had last season were, you know, a combination of maybe the players weren't quite good enough or the combination of players, but... We had a lot of injuries too last year, and we're trying to make sure we didn't have that um, that problem. I think the depth of the squad's a lot better this season. Um, we've kept the guys we wanted to keep from from last year, and we've added some good players. So I feel that um, we're much more equipped um, to handle any injuries this season, and um, hopefully that will that will show true in the in the first few games we have. Uh, two players I wanted to get you to comment on. Uh, one is Ike Kapara. He's been here at practice mm -hmm. this week. He's yep. looked really good in the scrimmage today. Yep. Talk a little bit about him and his uh, development. Well, Ike's very, uh, as we know, very dynamic um, athletic center back. That you know, If you can get him to really figure out the professional game, then you have a good player. So we are um, pleased to have him. We're making sure we're working hard each time he's in. You know, He's going to finish school, but we're really working hard on making his schedule easier for him and us so we can come in at... You know, at least every 10 days or at least every week. So um, that's good because he's a good, he looks a good player. Um, you don't know until you get playing games what they uh, what they actually end up doing. Do they do really well? Do they struggle? But the, the signs for Ike for me right now are good. With his height, do you see him being an asset on say, set pieces down your goal? Yeah, and he's quick too. So he's asset in anything he does. <laughs> he's quick and good in the air. So you know, for us, it's that's not a bad trait for a centre back, especially. And I think. We work on his feet a little bit. They're, they're a little, you know, he's a little raw in that department. But um, that's the last thing that I worry about. If I want a really good defender who's fast, strong, aggressive, you know, good in the air, and he's got all those things, and he's brave. And I think we can work on his, you know, his feet and his passing. That's that'll be okay. But um, he's got the attributes to be very good. Another player that's new to training is uh, Javier Robles. He's looked quite dynamic yes. out there. Speak a little bit. Yes, about yeah, his well, Javier. Is, yeah, I mean, you know, we lost Shea and. Um, you know, straight away, me and John were, were right on it to make sure we can replace that that player. He plays wide right or in central midfield, so he has good feet. He has um, a good soccer mind. He's only 23. Um, he's pleased to be here and he's he's settled in real nicely. So, you know, we're expecting good things. Um, you know, he, he doesn't look the biggest of players, but he's very clean and and, and good. So hopefully he's he's settling. MLS is the hard league, though. You know, we'll find out when it gets going, but the signs look pretty good now. So you see him more as a, as a right side player then? Right side, um, either side, wide, middle. You know, we look at, as a good player we've added to the team. Um, it adds competition for places, and that's exactly what we need at this uh, at our club. Are you um, going, I mean, is, um, are you trying to, to build a defense that will uh, start the first game? And, uh, of course, if there are not in, no injuries, uh, who's going to play until the, the last game, the same back four? Well, we hope so. I mean, there's always, there was, there's always things that come into it. Um, Brandon McDonald's out as well, we didn't mention. He's got a slight uh, hamstring from his... We pulled a little bit in the national team camp. He's just been niggling, so I said, let's, let's get rid of it now. So he took the last three or four days off, and he feels real good. So he'll probably be back in practice in three or four days. You know, Brandon had a good year. You know, he played the games where I felt um, you know, he was he was dangerous. 
uh, sorry, he was um, steady and he had, he had a good end to the season. So, you know, whoever's going to get a chance to play there is going to earn the spot because we have good competition now. Looking forward to Saturday's game against Fresno. What kind of team do you think you're going to be putting out on the field for that? Um, we'll have a look. You know, we're going to play a game on Monday morning here as well. So maybe mix the squads up a little bit. Just, you know, give some guys 90 minutes that maybe not played for a while. So that's what we'll be doing and have a look at. So I'm, not, I'm unsure exactly the lineup. We'll, we'll discuss it today with the coaches and, and pick two sort of units. Do you already know who will be the team captain this year? Uh, most probably Corrales. Corrales. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I can announce that he'll be captain, yeah. That's it for me. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. Yeah.